Hey guys, welcome, it's Christina here from See You Online, here to teach you about print on demand. And today we're actually gonna be going into how I like to design, which is Canva, and how you can legally use Canva to create your print on demand products. A lot of people will tell me that I am not allowed to use Canva for print on demand products to sell legally with merchandise, but you actually can sell t-shirts and your print on demand products with Canva Pro if you just follow their license, which I'm going to explain. Please keep in note while watching this, this is only for print on demand and selling physical products. If you are selling digital products, these rules are a lot different and you should be talking to someone who sells digital products or reading a little bit more into the Canva licensing because you actually aren't allowed to sell, I think a lot of digital products if they have Canva Pro elements on them, but I am not for sure. I am specifically going over print on demand and actually printing your product for sale, which I have extensively studied and actually talked to some Canva pros and some other support team to confirm that I am legally allowed to print these. And I wanna share it with you so you know how you can use Canva to create your designs. Okay, so let's open our own little file here. And if you are doing print on demand, you are going to need Canva Pro. Not only will this give you access to tons of their products, it also gives you some better licensing so that you can sell these products on merchandise. But most importantly, you actually are gonna need Pro to be able to save your file in a way that is gonna allow you to print this on merchandise at high quality. So if you don't have this, you can't really save your files to use them. So if you haven't yet and you wanna use Canva for print on demand, upgrade to the Pro version. But let's go over elements and how you are able to use them. So if we have Canva Pro, let's say we wanted to use one of these element images for our t-shirt. So let's say I want to make a little penguin shirt. I'm gonna search up penguin in elements and you're gonna get tons of different graphics that come up. You can use photos, graphics, let's go with this. Let's say I want to use this little guy. I like him, he's pretty cute. When you click on it, or even when you hover, these three little dots are gonna come up. We're gonna hit that, and right at the top here, it's gonna tell you what you are able to use. So free for Canva Pro, great, we have Canva Pro, but exactly what does this mean? Open this, we're gonna learn a little bit more. Licensing made simple. Use this media safely in a Canva design for commercial uses, great, that's what we want. Sell merchandise with your design on it. Great, that's exactly what we are doing. But there is some kind of unsaid things here about selling your products with print on demand. So to learn more and to cover this, I'm gonna hit learn more about this license. And let's talk about the little asterisks in there about printing with Canva elements. So scrolling down, we kind of already see what we just saw there. You're allowed to sell merchandise. You're allowed to use this for commercial purposes but using content in your designs. By using content in a design, that's their images or elements, you've created something unique. Once you do, there are very few restrictions on what you can do with your creations, go wild. Here is the asterisk. However, standalone content has restrictions. For example, it cannot be printed on products or merchandise for sale. There's another thing down here, which is a little bit more specific. Um, can I sell products or merchandise with my design on it? Here, you can start to understand what this means a little bit better. Yes, all of our photos, fonts, graphics can be used to create designs for printing on products for sale, like t-shirts, mugs, books, AKA print on demand. But you cannot sell standalone prints of Canva content, such as, such as a printout of a stock photo without any other design elements on it on a t-shirt. This might sound a little bit confusing, but let me simplify that for you. This would count as standalone content. I picked one thing that Canva had to offer and I wanted to print it. I cannot do that. But what I can do is what if I want to create, or I want to add three different penguins. It's not a great design, but this is literally just for example purchases put in this little dabbing penguin. This is now an original design using elements. 
I like to think of elements as exactly what their name means. It is an element to a design, not a full design. So by putting in multiple elements, it is no longer standalone content, but you use multiple things in Canva to create your own original design. Another thing that you can do if you just wanted to have our little main penguin here, you can also add text. I am a penguin because I can't think of anything funny. Oh, maybe a bit chilly. All right, now that I've added some text to him, this also counts as an original design because I've added two Canva things because text also counts as an element that you are able to actually print this and it no longer counts as standalone content. One thing that this doesn't apply to is just text. You can always just print just text. You're, I don't think they can <laughs> license literally just their text but to be able to use some of their pro fonts, you are going to need Canva Pro, but like I said at the beginning, you should already have that if you're planning to do print on demand. And please remember that this is for print on demand only. This is not talking about selling templates or selling things online digitally, because right here you can see, unless it's a template created for use on Canva, you cannot use pro content and templates of any nature. So if you are planning to sell digital products, I would dig in a little bit more because this, what I've just explained in this video is only relevant to print on demand and selling merchandise with Canva designs on it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you don't know Canva yet, stay tuned because I am planning to release about a 20 to 30 minute video explaining exactly how to use Canva, how I use Canva for my print on demand store, how to do designs, fonts I like, shortcuts, tips and tricks, literally everything I know about Canva so you guys can get designing right away because I want to see your stores become super successful so please subscribe if you haven't yet. I would majorly appreciate it. Thank you guys. Have fun designing.